love, that ever-flowing liquid fire of life, ever-expanding and illuminating truth, which is always revealed with wisdom, a spiritual nutrient necessary for vitality that is maintained through selflessness, a filter of ether that aids purity, which is love. Love, a limitless paper lantern floating into infinity on the intentions and actions of initiates of the mysteries. Welcome fellow phoenixes to the Spiritual Phoenix Podcast, where we make a daily offering to the divine by putting our past on the pyre, searching the smoke for spirituality, turning the ashes into a heart, into art, adapting isolation into connection, and manifesting mental wellness. I'm your host, Ross Cessna, and together we are the Spiritual Phoenix. The intent of this show isn't to tell you what to think, but to get you to think and originally articulate yourself in a way that is uplifting. We are the artists of our lives, and today is a blank canvas. Let's collectively create a better tomorrow. Um, right now, I'd like to um, focus on what we're grateful for today. Today, I'm grateful to be celebrating a year clean. Um, this past month or so has not been the easiest for me. Um, even last night, I did not sleep well. i um, been very emotional. I've cut out some other habits that I wanted to uh, get away from, which I'll talk about in a little bit. Um, I'm tired, I'm weary, um, but I'm still here, and I'm still in good spirits regardless. And I've really connected with such a, a deep, um, element of strength of my higher power and of myself um, and of connection with other people. Um, I'll get into a couple quotes. I cannot always control what goes on outside, but I can always control what goes on inside. And that was said by Wayne Dyer. Um, the greatest adventure is what lies ahead. Today and tomorrow are yet to be said. The chances, the changes are all yours to make. The mold of your life is in your hands to break. And that was said by uh, J.R.R. Tolkien. Um, so the topic that I'm really going to get into is what this year in recovery has been um, for me. When I started this recovery, it was uh, with the intent of being able to have healthier relationships with people. Somebody was phasing into my life. Um, then that person phased out of my life for a while then they ended up um, getting into recovery and then phasing back into my life and now they're phasing out of my life again um, so it's been a lot for me like I get deeply connected to people um, and throughout all of that I didn't use that was one of the things that um, was one of my biggest triggers for me was dealing with women because um, I've always kind of had codependency issues, and this really brought that to surface yet again. Um, but this feels a lot different this time. Like I really uh, established my position on it without being um, overly rude, and I had said that I handled things inappropriately in a sense, and I did, but to the extremity um, of what my old behavior was to what I did now, it really... Um, made me realize some things and then as far as like with how far I've come in everything I really feel like I'm releasing that guilt that I carried around for so long about how I treated women um, I feel like I've really paid off some of that karmic debt um, that I accrued from just acting so haphazardly which was only because I hurt and I didn't know any better how to treat women um, and this situation with my friend was really uh, a reflection of my own old behavior in lots of ways. Um, from my perspective, at least. I'm not saying that's accurately what it was. But, um, so yeah, I've been going through that. I um, started the No Fat Challenge, which is kind of funny to say. Um, if you don't know what it is, you can look it up. Not No Fat, No F-A-P. Um, it's a non-masturbation challenge um, and it really has given me um, some profound insight into different things and it's really helped declutter my mind in lots of ways um, 
and then just yesterday, um, so I could have another anniversary on my anniversary, I uh, cut out vaping from my life. So within the past year, I've given up substances, I've um, given up cigarettes, I've given up the mental health medication that I was on, I've given up porn, masturbation, and orgasm. Not to say I'm not going to ever hook up and have sex with people, but to say that I'm no longer only seeking self-gratification, if that makes sense. Um, and giving up vaping, too. So it's like right now, the pleasure centers in my brain are running rampant trying to um, make me seek certain behaviors out that can be destructive. But the thing that I found is such a deep connection to, to source energy um, and my higher power. And I've really connected deeply with that. I've had some really profound experiences. Um, I don't want to get into a lot of them. The one that I will share is I was driving this morning, the morning of my one year anniversary of being clean to uh, go volunteer at a fair after I've only probably slept for two hours um, since yesterday. And on the way there, it looked like there was like this rainbowy type thing on the, um, in the clouds, but it wasn't really a rainbow. It was like this rainbow haze almost. I was like, oh, that'd be cool if it was a rainbow. And then I saw a rainbow and then I realized that it was like a double rainbow. Since I've interviewed uh, Paul Vasquez, the guy who did the Double Rainbow interview, um, who did the Double Rainbow video on YouTube, that's the second Double Rainbow I've seen in like three or four months. Um, I can't recall ever seeing them before, and it may be because I wasn't out as much and wasn't as active. I won't rule that out, um, but it's a pretty big gift for me to receive a Double Rainbow um, on, on my first year clean and that was pretty significant to me and then to know that my friend um, who I had this falling out with is still in recovery um, that's pretty significant to me to know that I am still standing in recovery is pretty significant to me to know that I'm giving up these other things is significant to me like to know how much support and, and love and connection I have in my life now um, means something to me. To know how much I want to be there for other people and how much I'm trying, not, not even trying, how much I'm doing the right thing. Um, I'm really proud of myself. I'm really proud of walking out of hell, really, um, a self-imposed hell. And that's the thing, we don't realize sometimes how our daily behaviors can become this cage in this prison for us, whether it's our thoughts, whether it's our actions, whether it's a combination, whether it's the people we surround ourselves with, whether it's the types of escapism that we pursue. And granted, I've said before, escapism is healthy. And there can be a healthy escapism, but it's that reliance upon it and that instant gratification of escapism that can make it addictive, which can lead you away from this vast richness of life. Um, and you got to push on. Like, liberation lies on the other side of limitation. And for me, like, I know what it's like to be stuck. I know what it's like to stay stagnant. I know what it's like to give up. I know what it's like to suffer, just like everybody else does. Um, but I have to keep going forward. Like, I want to have a good life. And I'm aware of uh, impermanence in life. And I can accept impermanence. Like, that's a necessity to, to being grounded in life is accepting impermanence. One day I'm going to die. One day everything I love is going to wither. One day everything I ever own is going to disappear. What matters is how I live my life and the quality of which I show up for people in the moment. The past doesn't matter. What may come in the future doesn't matter. It's in this moment right now. And what's going on in this moment right now? I am standing, uh, or actually I'm sitting technically, but I am sitting here. I am clean. I am 
not smoking, um, not vaping, not doing drugs, like I am <laughs> hopefully not masturbating and looking at porn while I'm doing this. Um, and like I, I have people that care about me. I'm, although my friend hurt me, um, I've forgiven her. I've forgiven myself for how I've acted. I'm in this present moment, in this now, and I am incredibly grateful for everything that brought me to this point. If this is the last video I ever do, or, or publish even, I'm grateful that I've been able to do this this long because this has meant so much to me um, to share my journey with everybody. And just to let people know, like, where I started at and where I've come to, like, after being psychotic and thinking I can never be relatively sane or normal again, it's, it's mind-boggling and how isolated I was, how uncomfortable I was, how, just how lost I was to be where I'm at today where I have hope and I, I'm continuing to be hopeful. You get this moment now. Nothing else matters. What are you doing now that's going to make a difference? What are you doing now that's going to bring you joy? What are you doing now that is going to stop you from being self-destructive? What are you doing now that's going to limit you from feeling taken advantage of? What are you doing now to improve yourself? Like Right now what I'm doing is just sitting here and being present with the blessing I've been given of this life. And the blessing of Source to give me strength and to be there with me and to put people in my life to help support me and walk me through my life. Like, I could not do this alone. And I understand that some people say, but you are doing it alone. I don't think they all get it. Um, and that's fine. Maybe I'm wrong. I've been <laughs> wrong plenty of other times in my life. Um, yeah, with that, that's all I got right now. Um, if you could leave a review, I would greatly appreciate it. Um, if you have a topic you want to hear discussed or something you want me to read or play on air or on this podcast or a one minute or less poem you'd like me to put on the sister podcast, the Phoenix Poetry Podcast, you can call the Phoenix voicemail line at 480-535-2561. You can follow me on social media at Spiritual Phoenix. I offer free daily tarot readings at Spiritual Phoenix Tarot. I started a side podcast that I mentioned earlier, the Phoenix Poetry Podcast, and it's currently on iTunes and other services as well. Um, you can visit the website, thespiritualphoenix.com. I've got some uh, jewelry and some shirts and hats and stuff up there. Um, so start checking out the shop if you'd like. I love, respect, and appreciate all of you. Love and light. Um, and yeah, thank you so much for sticking with me and listening to this and like reaching out to me and letting me know that this means something to you because that means something to me to know that I've helped people. Um, yeah, with that, I'm going to put this episode on the pyre. Peace, people. Don't believe. Don't follow. Do not consume. Do not watch. Largely what I'm talking about here is reclaiming experience. This is what's been taken from us. It's a self-advancing, self-expanding, self-defining process. And it takes no prison. The real world isn't a spiritual world. It isn't a material world. It isn't an empty world. It isn't a solid world. It's simply...